YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's Crystal Lucretia back with a new video. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a little makeup routine, little 30 minute makeup routine packed into four minutes. So here you see, I've already applied my concealer and I'm just doing my contour. Then I blend it in with a beauty blender. I think blending is the most important part. Although I'm not a makeup pro and I'm still learning, I realize that the art of blending really does you know make a difference with the outcome of the makeup look which you know is very important for us ladies and i usually go in with like a setting powder just underneath concealer and foundation i don't really do foundation a lot i really just do concealer makeup looks to be honest with you concealer and i do a contour and just literally blend my concealer in with my beauty blender and I blend out my contour with a brush which you will see in a few so just blending it out look yeah I've got my brush blending out my nose contour it wasn't strong enough for me so I had to add a little bit more took a smaller brush brush sorry to get that more you know precise and you know blended in you know blended in then took that right up to underneath the eyebrows just to add some shadowing so i come out with my l'oreal messier powder my setting powder translucent powder and i literally just set my contour just underneath the eyes where i would get any creasing going up to the upper cheekbones and stuff like that um no oh, just making sure that all that concealer is pressed down so that it can set well onto my face and I also do the eyelids so I come in with another brush just to you know add some depth to my contour and here I'm adding oh my god everything's going so fast okay here I'm adding some um, highlighter just underneath my eyebrows on my cheekbones on my nose on my eyelids just to give me a little bit shine little shimmer okay so we've moved on to mascara i use two types of mascara i use a lengthening mascara first just to get that length in my eyelashes and then uh, a little bit later i go in with a you know volume mascara so yeah just trying to get all the oh yeah i think this is the volume mascara well I'm dancing now because I was vibing to some music. So you see how the lengthening mascara. Now I'm going in with the, 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 sorry, the thickness, the, the volume. Okay, then we're moving on to a little bit of eyeliner. Some black eyeliner just to really define the eye shape just underneath there. I always tend to cry at this point because I always poke myself in the eye. But today I was careful see me going in there so now it's time for some eyelash glue add some eyelashes i don't always add some eyelashes but i did here oh and then we move on to the lip my lip liner this is from nyx i have like a brown pencil or something like that it's a suede brown pencil or something like that um just to give my yeah i love this brat doll kind of <laughs> you know a little little, little 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 shape love doing that make sure it's really high my cupid's bow i go really high with that and then just line the bottom of my lips add some vaseline then add some nice oh i don't know where this is from oh i gotta leave all the uh names for the items that i use probably somewhere on the screen but this has a little bit of like a tint of pink and a little bit of a shimmer really love to use it this is also drugstore so i use so so shortly after this we will go in with the setting spray as you just seen there dry that a little bit up now we move on to our eyelashes they should be dry now the glues should be tacky not dry sorry should be tacky and this is when i like to apply my lashes with tweezers tweezers work well with putting on lashes if you are struggling i really just start from the middle like the first bit i stick on is the middle bit then I move on to the corners, whether it's the eye narrow to the little tear duct area or I start with the ends. But I think the middle is where you should, you know, firstly put it. Okay, so the look wouldn't be completed without some baby hairs. So I just added some baby hairs just to, you know, enhance the look. 
baby hairs usually take a while just to kind of design kind of fix round play with and stuff like that like i love playing with my baby hairs because the possibilities are endless and it does take a little bit of time but it does look good and i love the end results you know just playing in it and you can especially when the gel is wet you can or the gel or the edge control you can move it around and do what you like you know i love my little baby hairs i don't think i'll ever stop doing baby hairs i don't know when that time will come when the age will come where i think baby hairs are not uh required but i'll be still doing my baby hairs uh even in older adulthood let's say that older adulthood anyway guys i hope you like this video make sure to like comment and subscribe bye bye